and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, September 14th, 2017, and we're excited to have with us in the studio, Soccer Mommy. This first song is called Try. It's like a razor blade You won't ever know me I still let my dreams flow with the face Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Soccer Mommy. What's up? Uh, thank you guys very much for coming out and uh, playing for us. Why don't you just roll into your next song if you're good, and then we'll talk after. Cool. This one's Benadryl Dreams. Sleep tonight, I 
You're watching Soccer Mommy on Audio Tree Live. Thanks again, guys, for coming out. Um, I want to know about Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, just what what is like so specifically attractive about him to you, or like about kind of He's his music? Or, he he is He's emo, so emo, right? Like the way the way he looks, even like the way he dresses, stuff like he that. He looks great. Oh yeah, <laughs> he looks super great. He have looks you ever great. have you ever seen him? Like I no. mean, live? No. No. Okay. Unfortunately not. Yeah. Do you plan on? York, but, uh, I mean, I hope like to. Oh, it was yeah. sold out. Yeah. Yeah, we t- I tried to see him at Lollapalooza, actually, but it got rained out. I was, oh. like, running to the show, or well, I guess at that point, walking, then running as it was raining. But it got evacuated, so I didn't see him. But so do you guys, like, jam to him in the van and yes. stuff? Yes. yes, we do. Have you heard the new album? Yeah, Love is Rage too. Yeah. Yeah, I listened to it a few times. I think, do you like it better than old stuff? or? or? I don't know if better, but, like, there's some songs Not that, really. you know, are, like, fa- just fantastic. Just the Way <laughs> Life Goes. Yes. That's the best song. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. That and Neon Guts. Sure. Yes. Do you like Fox. other people like uh, in that scene? Like, like, do you like uh, people who are his friends? I'm trying to think of like who is his friends. Yeah. Like I mean, thug. yeah, oh, so like, young, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, we like all of us. Young Thug, yeah. definitely. Future. He's the best working artist. Yeah. Like, yeah, we definitely are into the, the trap music. Yeah. Especially emo. Yeah, especially if the emo, emo branch. It's just like. The perfect branch. Do you know that dude, Triple uh, X Tentacion? Have yeah. you heard of him before? I've heard, I've heard all about him. Okay, yeah, he's yeah, I think he's kind yeah, of a mess, but he yeah. does. He he like tries to embrace that whole like emo thing too, like mm-hmm. trying to be emo rap stuff. Were you into like emo music? Oh yeah, I was definitely into emo music. Like when what? I was younger. Um, I mean, I'm into, like, current emo bands, I think. Like, but I definitely like the pop punk yeah, stuff when I was yeah. younger. Like, Fall Out Boy kind of stuff? Yeah, or? that, like, Panic at the Disco. Sure, yeah. Did you ever see either of, of them? No. Oh, no, really? I didn't. Oh. I didn't see them. I did see it. I saw Panic at the Disco um, when they were, like, at sort of the height of their, like, circus era. Oh, Which yeah. was pretty cool, actually. That was, yeah, I'm sure that was amazing. Yeah, it was, it was great. <laughs> well, you know, they still play shows, so you can see them, yeah, like, still, all the still, time. Yeah, <laughs> They're still out there. I don't understand how those two bands made it, to be perfectly honest. Like, of all the bands. I think it's very crazy that that yeah. was a big genre for so long. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Even though I like it, yeah. I'm still like, wow, like, America all liked that? Yeah, seriously. There were more people Just that were Just based on this. what's happening now, I'm sure. like, how did we all like this, like, five years ago? Dude, uh, yeah. Or, yeah, a little but, further, I mean, but, yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. I keep thinking it's like 2000. Yeah, but it's like 2004 like right or like 2000, you know, like yeah. between 2004 and 2007. Yeah, or maybe a little earlier, mm-hmm. but yeah. Anyway, uh, why don't you guys play some more songs and then okay. we can talk. This one's called Last Girl. <laughs>
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Soccer Mommy. Sophie, you went to an art school. Was that like an art middle school or an art high school? High school. Yeah. What What was that like? Like, what What did that look like? It was very interesting. Um, not a lot of rules. Really? Kind of. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of hectic a little bit. Okay. Um, three of us actually went there. Okay. To, to the same one? Yeah, to the okay. same school. Cool. cool. Uh, me, Thomas, and Emily. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just really relaxed and fun. Just kind of got to take music classes throughout the day or yeah. art, whatever you did. Um, do you have to do like a focus? A lot, yeah, like, you, do you had have like an choose? art that you auditioned for. Okay, okay. Like guitar Which obviously or... was uh, an instrument yes. <laughs> for you. Yeah. Yes, or like art. Yeah. Piano. Like visual art. Whatever, or yeah. Like that. Yeah. Um, theater. And then what are like the, what's like the teaching style like? I mean, is, is it lectures or is it more like, I don't know, ac- like activity-based stuff, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of activity-based. Okay. I mean, there were lectures, too, for, like, stuff like history. Right. But they did a lot of, like, art projects, okay. like, in the English class or whatever for your, just to kind of integrate it a little bit. But it was, it, the other classes were mostly pretty much just, like, any other school. Okay, yeah. So so it's the pretty standard, and then they're just these, like, art focus stuff or like yeah. they take like you said you take English and then apply it to art in mm-hmm. some way yeah was that like your guys experience as well you must yeah. have done an instrument as well or did you do a visual art thing I did choir and like singing stuff okay um, and I originally went for cinema okay and then switched to guitar okay cool and now you play drums yeah now I play so drums. there's the story <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you did you did choir and then, so what does that look like? Just lots of singing classes? Yeah, there were like risers in the classroom. So oh. we'd all just stand there and sing. And then we'd go and perform all over the place. So okay. It was really fun. Very cool. And then a regular, I went to a regular high school too. Like oh, a regular uh, yeah, public I went to high like school. a math and science oh, high school. Oh, math and science high school. Yeah. Nice. So get to tell so, me about that. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of formulas. Yeah. Uh, a lot of plugging, a lot of breaking down, a lot of foiling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't be the man I am today without it. So. Yeah, seriously. Shout do you still do any of that? Like, like, All do you apply it. any of that? Yeah. All of okay. it in my cool. daily life. Yeah. No. Uh. I. Yeah. It. It's you know sort of the same social community as their school. So, kind of those groups of people already know each other. Uh, Hume Fog High School. Got to shout it shout out. Shout out. What was um, your mascot? Oh man, the knights. The we knights. had a knight. We had like a knight <laughs> in shining armor. Very cool. Um. But uh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool. All right. Well, yeah, give us some more music. Sweet. Um, this song is called Inside Out. <laughs>
you're watching Auto You Tree Live, we're hanging out with Soccer Mommy. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do whatever switch you need to do. Um, and one for all of you. I know that Sylvie specifically has a pretty active Twitter profile, but I, I'm just curious, like, what you guys think as artists the role of something like Twitter is? Like, beyond, I guess, just advertising your shows, do you think that there's any, I guess the word I'm looking for is greater purpose, like, you know, usage for Twitter beyond just telling people your shows are coming up and stuff? Yeah, it's personal. I mean, if you feel validation, like, not in a bad way, but if you feel... If it makes you feel something to say something or to retweet something or to get news from a source, like then it makes you feel something. Like I think the use of Twitter is like totally personal. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah others. I think it definitely like makes fans feel more connected to the artists or just like more interested in the artists' stuff because it's not always just like music that someone makes. Like maybe sure. they make art or or like just write. They do writing too. Like a lot of artists I know write poetry or pros yeah and i think it just makes someone feel a little bit more connected to someone like as a whole and as an artist just kind of draws them in more to them and makes them feel more connected to them as a fan yeah and they can have like a slightly more direct relationship i suppose yeah. like it's obviously through media but uh, they're saying something to you and then you're saying something back to them or they're hearing from you directly do you guys agree or have i don't know other opinions on that yeah no i, I agree totally it it um helps connect with the listeners and stuff for sure yeah i feel like it just you can give a more personal view of yourself on there like right. access to your thoughts and yeah. what you're doing and stuff do you think something like that is sustainable like do you think in 10 years like twitter will still be around like yeah. if you had a guess like yeah. It. Yeah. okay facebook's been around for it a has long time, it though. has and that's true back. Yeah, it's like it's like boosted its way oh, back to back. being cool, I guess. Yeah. But all these things take over, so it might not necessarily be Twitter, but like that kind yeah. of stuff. Do you just yeah. think because the internet will always be around? Or Keelan always jokes, uh, TriCaster dude slash many other roles dude, always jokes that the internet's a fad. And I kind of like, part of me thinks like, it's obviously not true, but in some sense is it kind of is. Like there are faddy things that mm -hmm. come through the totally. internet, you know? And I mean, it might be... A di there might be a different, like, way of something that, you know, replaces the internet, but sure. it's, like, the same kind of, like, global, like, sharing space. And, I mean, but I, I think there will always be some form of, like, social media, just because people like to be social. Yeah. And people like to present an image of themselves, too, I think. Yeah, there we go. Especially online. Sure. So I think there's always going to be a space for people to do that. To create one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. yeah, totally. Right on. Uh, go ahead and take it away with uh, more music. This one's outworn.
watching Audio Tree live We're in the studio with Sucker Mommy. You guys can get ready to go into your last one, and I will say that uh, they're currently on tour with JSOM and Steph Chura, so check them out, and the newest EP collection is out now. You can get it online and everywhere records are sold, and they're playing at Sub T tonight. Is that true? Yes. So you can check them out there. Awesome. This last song is a solo one. It's called Allison. <laughs> Watching Audio Tree live, and we've been in the studio with Soccer Mommy. You can check them out on tour with Jason and Steph Chur. They're playing the Sub T tonight, and you can get uh, music online, especially the newest EP collection. I also want to say that uh, there's an awesome interview that she is a part of a roundtable discussion thing that's called, like, I don't know, it's Women called, Rule uh, Rock Music or something. Yeah, it's called Rock's Not Dead, It's Ruled by Women. I yeah, think. yeah, it's a New York Times article. You should check it out. It's a round table. Um, one of the members of whom is Sophie, but a bunch of other like really cool bands, badass front women. But anyway, um, thanks to the band. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful. And viewers, thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout by social media to us or them if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. In. Goodbye. Thank you very much, everybody.